It's open. It's open season on the border. If you want to come to America right now, you come in through the southern border and you're here. You're going to get clothed. You're going to get fed. You're going to get housed and you're going to get free medical care. Welcome to all day, every day preparedness. I tell you, this migrant crisis, guys, is something else. I mean, people are just flooding in, spilling in, running in across the border. I mean, it is getting out of hand, guys. We just can't keep this up any longer. I mean, it's just it just doesn't make sense, guys. I was reading a report, but the official numbers is something like 5,000 people a day crossing over. That's 35,000 people per week. If you want to do that for for the year, guys, that's over or that's almost 2 million people crossing into the country illegally. Or you might as well call it legally. I mean, you might as well call it legally. I mean, we're we're feeding, we're clothing, we're housing, we're paying for medical care for all these different migrants coming in from all different countries. Venezuela, all the South and Central American countries. We're talking Chinese migrants. We're talking African migrants. We're talking Haitian migrants. We're talking Middle Eastern migrants. Something like $20,000 per month, you know, per migrant or per migrant family. You know, whether that's true or not, guys, even if you cut that in half, that's crazy. That's $10,000 a month. I mean, we just cannot take on this burden any longer. It's just not possible. We, you know, we just don't have the funds. We're in debt as a nation as it is. And I, I saw another report, guys, something like $561 billion with a B to take care of the migrants every year as they just keep spilling in and spilling in across the border. Guys, we don't have that kind of money. We don't have $561 extra billion. Well, actually, we do because we just print it out of thin air or on the back end. We raise the taxes for you and I, the taxpayer, you know. To, to fund all this. It's 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 gonna collapse at some point. We cannot handle this. It's too much to bear. We cannot just take in all these folks. And again, you know, I understand. You don't want to see someone come and be totally destitute without food, without clothing, without shelter, without medical care. But again, we cannot just keep doing that. It's it's impossible to do. We cannot take on every other country's people and just allow them to come into this country. It's just not gonna work. We're in tremendous debt as it is. And the thing about a lot of these migrants guys, they're coming in from Venezuela. I saw another story I'm gonna put up here as well, where uh, Venezuela, as you know, has had some of the most notorious, craziest, heinous, violent crimes in the world. And their crime has recently dropped like 20, uh, the lowest in like 22 years. And the reason for that is because they're allowing their criminals, like, we don't want you, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, go to America. America will take care of you. And that's exactly what's happening here right now, guys. All these migrant criminals from Venezuela are coming here. That's why their crime is the lowest it's been in 22 years, because they're spilling into our society here. And it's only a matter of time before it erupts. It's only a matter of time. This is a story you will only see on nine. The FBI says a Venezuelan gang called Tren de Aragua has made its way to the borderland. Yeah, that's right. This rapidly expanding gang has spread throughout South America and now into our communities, posing a threat to borderland families. It doesn't matter what party you, you think you belong to or what party you support, guys. They're all in this together. Now, granted, Trump will get some uh, voter bait, you know, just like he did the first time. And he'll say, let's build a wall. Let's build a wall. And maybe he really wants to build a wall, but he knows that's not going to happen because he's not going to get the cooperation. So I'll give him the benefit. Let's say he really does want to build a wall. It's never going to happen because every president that's been in office has had this same challenge, this same opportunity if they really wanted to close the border, but they don't want to close the border. And now, as you see, guys, they're just spilling in, flooding in by the day, thousands per day, 400 and 60 almost billion dollars is the price tag to how and clothe and feed all these migrants we just can't do it anymore and you know as we know in some of the inner cities guys where a lot of these migrants are crime is up we're talking military age males flooding into the country especially military age men that have no families that have no children coming from a situation where their country was in shambles and it was ran by the gangs and the street 
culture. You know, we can't have that here erupting on our streets in America. So again, guys, this is all happening so fast, so fast that it's going to boil over. And the only question is, are we ready for when that happens? That's why preparedness is key, guys. You have to prepare for these things that you see unfolding in front of your very own eyes. And not just with the migrant situation, we're talking about with the economy. We're talking about with the stock market. We're talking about with inflation. We're talking about with unemployment. We're talking about this upcoming major, major bank failures that may kick off here in just a few short days. When that federal funding is stopped, going to these banks, especially these regional banks, guys, they're holding all this debt and that's just going to collapse. So there's a lot of things to worry about right now, um, but just make sure that you're doing what you need to do to prepare. Have some extra food, have some extra water, have some cash. Don't leave all your cash in the bank. In case your bank crashes, you want to have that cash on hand to pay your bills and meet your needs until that situation hopefully can get worked out, guys. But again, it's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts. Let me know what you think. I want to hear from you guys in the comments. I mean, what's going on with this migrant crisis? What is your thoughts? I mean, how are we just letting thousands upon thousands of people come in the country each and every day. And it's only going to continue. I mean, if you're in one of those countries and you're like, wow, okay, really? All I got to do is just get to point A and then I can travel and, 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 and walk or caravan or whatever I got to do. And then I'm just welcomed in to the United States with open arms and I get uh, $20,000 or whatever, a debit card or whatever. I could just they're coming and it's not going to stop. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure that you like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Help support this channel. Help support get this message out. I want to thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Continue to prepare and as always, be blessed.